Israel and Singapore enjoyed a great and very uh, close uh, bilateral relations since Singapore independence since 1965. Um, Israel was one uh, of the first countries who recognized Singapore independence and was one of the first countries who uh, offer any kind of cooperation uh, to, the, uh, to the young Singapore state. Uh, for the last 50 years, the bilateral relations uh, became even stronger and strengthened in many, many fields, not only defense, also academic level, also cultural, also trade. Um, we enjoy very close uh, bilateral dialogues in, in so many uh, areas and fields. Um, we have a great uh, dialogue between our universities, between our researchers. Um, last three years we had for the first time uh, the visit of the Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra um, uh, conducted by the Maestro Zubin Mehta. They never came to Singapore before. The first time they came to Singapore was November 2015. Second time, January 2016. It's quite hard to believe that never in our 50 years of great relations, never we had a philharmonic orchestra visiting Singapore. So I'm very proud it happened. Hopefully it will, they will come again soon. Uh, last year we were uh, very honored to, to have the first time uh, the visit of Prime Minister Lee visiting Israel. Again, never before um, uh, a Singaporean Prime Minister visited Israel. It was the first uh, visit and it was an amazing visit. Um, uh, we, it makes a huge impact in Israel um, and it's the result of the visit is um, uh, unbelievable in a way that uh, we were able to discuss so many possible areas of cooperation and, um, and even uh, research in the academics and, um, and other fields as well. There are about 2,000 Israelis and uh, startups that coming to, they came to Singapore uh, for the last uh, few years. They are looking for uh, um, uh, core production with Singaporeans um, um, high techs. We have a lot of research that we are doing together. Um, we have a lot of invention to do together with our Singaporean friends. The, the trade balance between Singapore and Israel is good, but it's not good enough. We can do much better. And one of the way to do it uh, is obviously to open a direct line, direct route between Singapore and Israel, and that Singapore Airlines will fly to Israel. Uh, it will bring more business to Singapore, more tourism to Singapore. Israelis like to travel all over the world. They travel all the time completely out of proportion to the size of, of Israel. Um, you go to China, you go to, to US, you, you'll find so many Israelis around you, you will not believe that we are only 8 million. Direct line, direct route between Singapore and Israel will bring more tourism to Singapore, more tourism uh, to Israel. There will be more um, opportunities on the trade side between the two countries, and I believe it will be even um, they will be able to strengthen even more the relationship between Israel and Singapore. Um, we can do more, and this is something that uh, we are working on in our embassy. Um, but it's a very good and very unique and very close and very open, I would say, relationship between the two countries. The, the exhibition uh, Open Door to Israel, uh, uh, which we had last month, it's a very, very unique exhibition. It's a, it's a multimedia exhibition. It's, it's a very uh, prestige exhibition that before coming to Singapore, it was shown, let's say, in the Louvre in France or Kremlin in Moscow. And again, first time in Singapore. Uh, we were very uh, uh, fortunate to have it in Singapore, very happy to, to be able to, to host it here in Singapore. My aim by, um, uh, by bringing this uh, exhibition to Singapore is to attract the young generation to come to Israel. I'm, we have a lot of uh, pilgrimage, a lot of uh, groups that are coming to visit Israel, uh, not only from Singapore, also from Indonesia, from Malaysia, and from other countries around the world. But I would like to, to attract the young generation. I want them to know that Israel is a fun place to visit, fun, fun place to live, 
fun place to 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 go as a tourist destination. This is what I aiming to, and uh, hopefully by bringing this exhibition to Singapore, I was uh, able to attract their attention a little bit of the young generation. If we will have more Singaporeans visiting our country, I'd be very happy.